Hello friends, welcome, hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this example, a bit interesting one, and try to solve this. A ball is dropped from a height of 64 meter and it rebounds as three fourth of the distance every time it touches the ground. Find the total distance it travels before it comes to the rest. So let's try to understand for that I'll just draw the diagram. Let's say that this is the ground. That's the ground I have. So that's ground level. Okay. Right. And let us say that's a plain ground. So no contra controversy there. A ball is dropped from a height of 64 meter. So there is a ball which is dropped from a height of 64 meter. So the height to the ground from the ball is 64 meters. It is dropped from a height of 64 meter and it rebounds as three fourth of the distance every time it touches the ground. Let's see what happens now. Let us say the first time it fell down, you just dropped it. So due to gravity, it will come down. It will touch the ground. Then it will rebounce. When it rebounces, it will rebound to three fourth of the distance. Let us say it will rebound only up to here. Now once it rebounces, what happens? Again due to gravity, it will be coming down. Now, once it touches the ground, again it will rebound and once it reaches the distance that is a three fourth of whatever earlier, it will again come down and this continues, this continues till it comes to rest. So that is how you will have. Now let us see how we can find out the total distance. So let us try to put down here. If the first distance is 64, we know that the second are nothing but the rebounds, first rebounds is nothing but equal to 64 into 3 by 4. 64 into 3 by 4 because we have been told that when it touches the ground, it rebounds as three fourth of the distance. So this becomes 64 into 3 by 4. So same distance again you are coming down. You went up to 64 into 3 by 4. Due to gravity again the ball comes down. Same distance 64 into 3 by 4. Then this is the distance where it is coming down. So same distance as how much it has rebounced and again it will touch the ground. Once it touches the ground again it will rebound. How much it will rebound again? It will rebound whatever the distance it has traveled earlier three fourth of that. That means it will be again 64 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4. So that will continue till it reaches the it, c it comes to rest. So let us try to see what is the total distance. Whatever the discussion we had, let us try to put it in numbers. So first time the ball is falling down 64. The next time it rebounces, it rebounces 3 fourth of the distance. So that is nothing but 3 by 4 into 64. After that it will again come down due to gravity that is again 3 by 4 into 64 then once it reaches the ground again it will rebound by 3 fourth of whatever the distance it traveled so it becomes 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 64 and this continues one more time once it reaches 3 by 4 that this particular 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 64 height again it will come down by the same thing so this continues 
till it comes to rest now let us see here what's happening now this is continuing okay now if I try to simplify this this is 64 plus 3 by 4 into 64 3 by 4 into 64 this is let us put the direction here this is coming down again this is coming down this is coming down okay where you are rebouncing you are rebouncing 3 by 4 into 64 again you are rebouncing 3 fourth of whatever it is so you can see that if you just try to add them up you see that every time the ball touches the ground before it touches the ground it will go for two times of the rebounds because it has to go and again come down so can I say this is nothing but 2 into 3 by 4 into 64 plus 2 into 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 64 and this continues now what's the meaning of that if I take 64 separate and take this 2 out I see a geometric series of 3 by 4 into 64 plus 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 64 and that continues so what will be the next term there the next term will be 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 64 let me write it down that will be 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 64 so into 3 by 4 into 64 and this continues till it comes to rest ok right now this is nothing but a you see a part of this geometric progression so 64 plus 2 into now you see here this whole thing is a geometric progression geometric progression infinite terms what is the sum of infinite terms s infinity equal to a by 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is the common ratio so what we will do now is we will substitute those values and say 2 into a is nothing but 3 by 4 into 64 let me just simplify that that's equal to 48 a by 1 minus r r you can see that it's always 3 by 4 because you want to get the next term multiply with 3 by 4 so you can see that r is 3 by 4 so if you simplify this you will have 64 plus 2 into 48 divided by 1 by 4 that's equal to 64 plus 2 into 4 into 48 which is nothing but equal to 64 plus 2 fours are 8 8 48 are 384 so that's equal to 448 meter so the total distance the ball travels before it comes to the rest is nothing but 448 meters so let's try to summarize this what we have discussed we have been told that a ball is dropped from a height of 64 meter and it rebounces three-fourths of the distance every time it touches the ground find the total distance it travels before it comes to the rest so we try to understand first time it will come by 64 then it will rebound to 3 fourth of that that is nothing but 48 so once it reaches that height of 48 due to gravity again it will come down and touch the ground once it touches the ground again it will rebound to 3 fourth of 48 that is nothing but equal to 48 into 3 by 4 that's 36 so it will rebound to 36 and again it will come down to 36 so this continues till it comes to rest 
Now, if you try to put them in numbers, you will see that 64 com coming down, 3 fourth of 64 for rebouncing, again 3 fourth of 64 due to gravity again coming down and touching the ground. So, you can see that. So, uh, other than the first term, remaining all terms are two times repeated. So, I can take that two out and I see a geometric progression there. 48 plus 3 by 4 into 48 plus 3 by 4 into 3 by 4 into 48 which is nothing but equal to and geometric progression of infinite terms so find out the sum of infinity terms of geometric progression is a by 1 minus r that's nothing but equal to 64 plus 2 into a is 48 1 minus r r is 3 by 4 you simplify that you will get 448 meters now we'll just take couple of minutes and see how we got this formula a by 1 minus r for s infinity if you recall we know that sum of n terms of geometric progression is nothing but equal to a into 1 minus r to the power of n by 1 minus r whenever r is less than 1 so what happens when the r is less than 1? Let us say in this case when r equal to 3 by 4, you calculate r square, r4, r to the power of 8, r to the power of 16. With the help of calculator, you will see that as the power goes, the value of r to the power of n tends towards 0. So, you calculate 3 by 4 whole to the power of 6. 3 by 4 whole to the power of 8, 3 by 4 whole to the power of n, it's going towards 0 0.000 something. So, when n becomes infinitely large number, r to the power of n will become 0. So, r to the power of n becomes 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So, you get a by 1 minus r. So, that's an interesting example related to geometric progression which can be asked in competitive example exams as a short question so see you in the next session with an interesting another interesting example thanks for staying with me bye for now